All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I want to teach you how to use children. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go out and find yourself a child. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I'm talking about React programming children. All right. So whenever I say children, what I mean is this. Actually, let me delete this one as well. In fact, we might as well clean this whole thing up from our last example. So all we're returning now is a blank heading to and instead of two properties for these components I'm only going to use one so now this component only has one other property which is the user so instead of just making components with a self closing tag like we have been we can make them with a more traditional tag system in other words a starting tag and an ending tag so just like regular old HTML this is no different now inside here we can type whatever we want so I'll say that for each component each one has a property of user which is some person's name and inside here this is the children attribute and I'll just say like a Bucky this guy is awesome and let me make another one so you guys can clearly see what's going on so I'll make another user called Emily and I'll say uh, she smells like uh, like mint. Why? I have no idea. But, alright. So we now have two components and they have one property and that is user which is essentially their name. Now, even though we don't explicitly pass it in like we have before, it also has another property which is their children property. So children is anything that's in between the starting and the ending tag. So now if I just make something like a div, so instead of just returning a heading, I'm going to return, let's say, um, a heading and a paragraph. So I can say like heading three. And for the heading, I'll just display the name. And you guys remember how to do that from the last tutorial. So this dot props dot, what is it, user. So that's what we're going to display in each components heading and we're also going to display your child in a paragraph so just like before so this dot props dot children so if I refresh this you guys are going to see what's going on so for every component it consists of two parts a heading and a paragraph so a heading and a paragraph now in the heading we learned this in the last tutorial, we can pass in properties by giving it a name as an attribute and display it however we want. And also, even though we don't explicitly pass it in, or in other words, we don't type the word children, anything in between your starting and your ending tag gets counted as a child. So whenever we display the child as the paragraph, it just counts as this text. And that's why we were able to display these types of components right there. So there you go. That is how you use children. Again, just to specify, I'm talking about in React and not actual kids. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.